welcome to the show. I am Morayo for Labi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Dr. Mark Odige, how are you? I'm very good. Um, grateful to God for life. I hate being sad, you know. Um, so yesterday I was supposed to go to Akure. And me by myself, I was just dragging feet. And I made a mistake. I went to MM2 instead of the local airport. By the time I was going to get to the right place to get my flight, they had printed manifest. There was no beg I could beg to make it down. I was supposed to speak at the, um, um, the summit in Federal University of Technology, Akure. And That's Kuta. Yes, the graduation, the graduating oh, of 2020. So powerful. I had prepared my speech, done everything. Oh my and goodness! I just feel, I felt really, really down. Like I was, like I was crying. They, 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 really they didn't do virtual. They didn't do virtual. No, no. So, um, but I'm, I, 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 this morning I was, I, I feel I woke up happier. You know, like all through yesterday I was just dragging myself, and I didn't want to have that same mood in the new day. So I'm thankful to God that I'm awake. Happy, and then today I'm going to be having a class on Facebook and Instagram teaching for first time property buyers. So many people accuse real estate companies of being fraudulent when they were not informed to ask the right questions when they want to make their purchase. So this is just it's a free class, it's going to be on Instagram and Facebook around 5 p.m. today, and people can watch to understand what are the questions you're supposed to ask before you now accuse the company of padding, of adding mm. money, when you didn't ask it beforehand what were the right questions. You know? Oh, great, great. Oh, I'll try to join that shit. I have a university speaking engagement. Maybe I can hand over to you. Uh, yeah, I think that, that speech you prepared. <laughs> I'll, I'll just throw it there. there. Yeah, I, think, I think it'll be great. So I'll, I'll probably just say to just have you over. How are you doing, Nima? Akasha Zip, this is your gilly. As I'm doing a Yazibiri today. As a Yazibiri, <laughs> oh, 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 everything in one and how I turned out to be. Mm -hmm. I say thank you, happy birthday. Sorry that it was in the night I called you and I just, hey, let, me, let me talk to you later. Emma <laughs> Bino, I'm sorry, but I'm, you know, every day I pray for her. Are you serious? Every single day. I just look at myself and say, I could do this, I do this fast. I know, and I know you Grillo, is that the MD? Yeah, I know the name. No, Grillo, the Grillo family is yeah. huge. Yeah. Ah, they are, well, it's the same family, but they are The MD knows, I mean, Yes, they are, is the, is the, no. Okay. So yesterday was about it. Yesterday was Mrs. G's birthday. Mm. I can't have yeah. birthday, so don't let them put us in trouble. No, no, no. This, this is my auntie. Yeah. Uh, uh, management is my auntie. <laughs> 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 How are you doing, Maria? I'm fine. Thank you. I was just um oh, a few days ago I saw this um audio. I read I heard this audio about a woman who was in talks with kidnappers over her daughter that had been kidnapped. And she could, you know, the daughter was saying to her that um, <clears throat> they were asking for 35 million and it really just, you know, grabbed at my heart. And the mother was saying, I will do anything to raise that money. I don't have it, but I'll do anything. Just assure me that you keep my daughter safe. And I wonder every day how, you know, families are coping because it has become our normal everyday mm -hmm. behavior. Now we're negotiating, we're pleading, we're raising money to pay off kidnappers. Then something happened to me during that time that just made me feel like, man, it, it has to be hard. I was with the children in the compound and it was it a transformer or something just went off. The sparks everywhere, it was not even like sparks, it was like thunderbolts. And I ran, and my children ran off. I mean, we're standing together, everyone just scattered. scattered. You know, one went one side and the other went another side. And I, all I was thinking was like, man, I need to grab my children and hold them. I was able to find to grab my daughter and I held her down. And I thought, I had no thought for myself. Mm. Whatever happened to me was just about my kid. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, and, and, I, and I say this because I want our leaders to think about it this way. These, you are also parents. Mm. These people are going through tough times. I cannot imagine just sleeping day in, day out, knowing that my child is out there with a stranger who already has evil intentions. And mm. yeah, I'm trying to raise money that I, ca I do not have to bring them back. Let's just put this on the front burner, how to return these children back home. So, I mean, governments can say, oh, the children in the IDPs, oh, the children in Borno, oh, the children that were kidnapped, but not somebody's children, yes. somebody's child. Yes. 
you know. So to, you, miracle, to, to you, to you, to, to, yes, to you is a number. To you is just one mm. of the statistics. But the truth is that child is somebody's child. Yes. So we've gone it's quite when, when, when kids and children are with numbers. Do you know the days when our mothers had fifteen and they were just yeah. in numbers? Mm -hmm. No, no. Now you okay, have just we have to run. To go to yeah. the clinic. Let's move on. We're gonna go on a break. When we come back, we we'll go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. We're gonna start with the nation. Igbo's lawyer, why he will remain in Benin prison, Benin prison. CBN directs banks to open dollar points of sale. UK, Nigeria, OK, judicial trial for terrorism suspects. Rao deepens in APC over Buni. Jam registrar or lawyer days tenure expires. My affair with Hush Puppy by Abakiari. Voters ultimate winners of Akiri Dolu's victory says Tinumbu. Okay, let's start with the UK. Who has that story? Yes, I have the story. So, um, the part of the dividends, because I, I know I took the story about the, the presidency being attacked concerning traveling physically, but one of the benefits of his trip was that he's been able to have a conversation. According to Femadish, you know, there was a conversation that took place between the president and the prime minister, um, Boris, the British prime minister, Boris Johnson. Johnson. And the conversation was touched on the challenges with um, Nam Kanu and the agreement was that it is okay for Nigeria's judicial system to try um, ter terrorist or any ter terror affiliated person should go through the justice system and justice should be meted out. No special treatment to anybody, no special trial for anybody. Go let, the, let, let justice take its full course for anyone found to be culpable in terrorism within Nigeria. I was going to take the Boho story because I'm, hearing, I'm getting the conflicting uh, report. Mm -hmm. So, according to the nation, the lawyer is saying that he will not be extradited. That um, currently he's in good, he's in a safe place. His wife is in touch with him, and that there are no criminal charges. He didn't break any law. In fact, he was in Benin Republic for very little time, so to even commit any crime in in, 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 in that Benin country. Republic, yes. So um, there are no grounds for deportation, according to his lawyer. Mm -hmm. However, the prosecution on the other side is saying that they're expecting him to be um, to be extradited almost immediately because, according to him, he did break some Benoit laws, um, some political laws, and he will be extradited. So we'll see, I don't know, based on who's talking now, yeah. but Nation, I think, was a Tribune or a Vanga, one of the other papers, uh, okay, was in Daily Sun, was saying that um, um, they were expecting him to be extradited almost immediately. So we'll see what happens. I wanted to take the jam okay. You got to add to that? Yes. Do you yes. have that? No, yes. no, I don't have that story. Okay. Is that the only story? Is that no, the only no, paper? Go on, completely. Because right. this is a, it's just as um, related to the whole story yeah. about... I mean, remember 12 other people were arrested oh, him, yes. and they were supposed to have been provided um, to the court. Yes, taken to court but they didn't show up because DSS said mm -hmm. that they are doing a further investigation because a lot of them uh, because of uh, when they when they arrested them, they arrested them with arms and ammunition mm -hmm. and also they're um, alleging that they are uh, pushing for what they call um, th that they were threatening headsmen and that they they were stockpiling on arms and ammunition. Because of that, they were sort of building up their case. The judge listened to them and said, as far as they are concerned, according to the law and constitution, the liberty, of every, but, the liberty of every uh -huh. Nigerian citizen is important. It does not look right on their agency. So ask them that the very next time that they are appearing before court, these Must people should them. be presented. OK. So the Jam Registrar, along with 13 other agencies under the Ministry of Education, the Federal Ministry of Education, have their tenures expiring. To tomorrow and to, or today because today is the last working day, and the president has not issued any statement as regards you know where, as usual, no? whether they are renewing or anything. But they've served their four to five years tenure and it's expired. I'm just going to say that this jam registrar has a yes. good, good record. He's done amazingly, exceedingly well with the, uh, the yeah. with jam. According to from your own, no, apart from my own, you can you can do your review. Yeah. Did you write jam? Yes. Did you write jam? Do you see I the jam writing now? Different, different yes. Yes. We need to always just put a caveat there no, no, because it's common. The so far, yeah, the best. So don't no, 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 no. Yeah. Professor Ishak Oloyede yes. has yes. a so pedigree. So yes. He's not a. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, not I agree with you. I'm just saying this is Nigeria. He brought university to Ilorin where it is, and we went on that strike, and that university did not go through it. And now jam. Okay. All right. Well done, sir. I'm not. We are definitely in agreement with you. Definitely. Nobody is disputing it. 
It's just that Nigeria factors make sure. Mm. It makes you care for question everybody. Let me get from. Mm. I question you to say. <laughs> <laughs> the punch. Supreme Court's declaration on Bruni governors hold emergency meeting today. APC chiefs differ. Congress is to hold. Picture here of Lagos donates to Greek tools imputes to 3,000 women and youths. Man faking madness caught with 250,000 naira. Three iPhones, women underwear in Ogun. Lawyers pick a uh, kick as Benin Republic plots Ibo's deportation to Nigeria. Uh, Lagos laments rising COVID-19 cases, plans more isolation centers. FG frustrating UK government's efforts on Kanu's trial, says lawyer. Defense minister blames monarchs, clerics for insecurity, says troops compromised. Hush Pape, Inspector General orders probe <laughs> of FBI's fraud allegation against Kiwari. Picture story. I was going to take that story, but which, which I want to take the human interest, please. Go ahead with human so, interest. So, um, in my way, um, in Ogun State yesterday, or so, so wherever it happened, this uh, madman supposedly was beaten by the by the uh, uh, by a mob because he said, they, according to them, they found him on the phone. One a day is the witness in this uh, story said he, this, him and his friends were playing Lotto and noticed. The madman was on the phone, and he's always been around that under the bridge at Mowe. And that they noticed he's on the phone. How can a madman be on the phone? They approached him and decided to search him. They found three other phones on him, two hundred and fifty thousand naira on him, and proceeded to question where who he was talking to on the phone, thinking he was a, maybe a sponsor or something. And he refused to mention. So because he was refusing to talk, the mob gathered and beat him to to almost lifeless. They took him to the police station, and then the police rejected. Him in Moway saying that they don't have the facility to hold a madman. This is this is a law to anybody because right. you leave him to that mob, he would have been dead. Yeah. If he was accused mad, the police have the powers to arrest anybody mad or sane. That's what the agency is to be. And if they don't have that facility in Moway, maybe the gov government of Ogun State should start looking into providing it because you release him to the crowd, jungle yeah. justice. Yeah. That's all. Okay, I was going to take um, Governor Sonwulu's story. So as part of the governor's themes agenda. Um, he was able to flag off uh, the distribution of agricultural productive assets and inputs under the 2021 Agricultural uh, Value Chains Enterprise Activation Program. So he empowered about 3,000 agripreneurs mm -hmm. uh, and gave them tractors, canoes for those who are fishing. Mm -hmm. I mean, according to him, he said they have emerged wiser and more determined to su succeed in creating nurturing environments for these people to thrive. And they will maximize the little they have while deploying the innovative entrepreneurial spirit amongst them. So they are trying to just yeah, ensure. I'm just appealing to everyone who's gotten this t these tools to use, to it. use it. Because this is our commonwealth and they should deploy it successfully. So uh, the governor of Lagos State. Still, um, for here he was represented by the Commissioner for Health in Ogun State at an unveiling um, of Med in Pharmaceutical Intravenous Food Factory in Shagamo. And he was just talking about how. Um, the COVID-19 cases are rising daily, and he says that we have about 100 to 300 cases every day. Um, isolation centers are full, and they are filling up. Um, isolation centers are opening up again. The Lagos State is under severe strain and stress, you know, to accommodate the rising numbers. And, you know, he also mentioned that while he was at that particular event, he noticed people shaking and hugging instead of the elbow greeting. He says COVID is still very much with us and we need to be careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with the review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Is that what you're going to say? I'm going to say, 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 I'm
doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup? Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script? Check. Are we set in the PCR? All time and place? PCR? Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in Thanks for staying with us. So we're moving on now to the Nigerian Tribune. Inspector General orders probe of hush puppy fingers carry in alleged $1.1 million fraud. In eight months, Amotekun lost seven personnel in Oyo, says Makinde. Education, Nigeria's size, population, major challenge for any government, says Buhari. FG cuts price of gas to power from $2.50 uh, cents to $2.18. NIMC captures more than 60 million Nigerians for NIN. We have not jettisoned restructuring, says Adibanjo. Zulu inaugurates a thousand hunters to protect farmers. Okay, which story are we started with in Nigerian Tribune? Um, the Minister of State for Petroleum talked about, um, at the forum, was talking about this, what he calls the domestic supply obligation uh, by dropping the cost of um, gas to $2.18 for domestic supply obligations. This will help those in the power sector who use uh, gas to generate power, and, you know, most likely abate the increase in gas that we are all uh, decrying in the country. And he said this, this is, you know, towards the National Gas Expansion Program, which was launched in January 2020 also to help people around the country. So, me, I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping that the consumption of power and uh, the expenses for the consumption of power that we suffer would, obviously, maybe mm. things would improve. So, 
Well done. All right. Yes, Maria. Yes. So um, on Thursday in London, our president was at a global partnership for education summit for heads of state, and they were just talking about, you know, how to improve the educational sector, uh, and also trying to mobilize funds for the transformation of the educational sector in the different countries. Our president was there with many other African heads of states as well, and they were talking. And he, in response to a question that he was asked, and he says that um, education in Nigeria. Um, we face the challenge of our population as well as our, geograph um, our, you know, our geography. And so that's a challenge, but that the president himself has committed to a 50% increase in budget. Yeah. Um, and by 2025, there'll be a 100 increase in budget, budget for education. And he says that Nigerians themselves understand the importance of education um, individually and as a community to put them out of poverty. He says many people who have been to school do not like to go back into the schools to teach. Instead, they like to go in to get other jobs. But he also acknowledges the challenge of lack of in, in, infrastructure, you know, no classes, no proper exactly. um, mm -hmm. schools, classes, and also teachers. So yeah. he understands what we're going through. And in his it's own committed. way, he says he's committed to increasing the budget mm. towards education. And but where this he, headline comes so from? In addition, so mm. in addition to that, so what the mayor said was quite important because the president also said that Nigerians are prioritizing education because they realize that if they miss their chance for good education, mm. they would have lost their chance to succeed in life. Mm. Somebody then extracted that. So you can't succeed, you were saying that you cannot succeed that. So that's what got the sensational. But that, that was, those were his exact words. Mm. And it was extracted to make it look as if it was... Um, Let's say something else. Say something else. the story of Afeni Ferry. So the pan Yoruba... Um, the pan-Yoruba social political group, Afeni Ferry, had a meeting and this, the, spokes, the publicity secretary, comrade Jari Ajayi, was saying that at no point did Afeni Ferry back out from their clamor for restructuring, that they still stand. We have not jettisoned restructuring. Even the purported communique is not against restructuring, that the goal is we need to restructure before the next elections. And what they mean by restructuring is return to true federalism. And devolution of power. I think Are Are uh, Ate Valola also said it in the papers yesterday. Listen, before the next elections, we must restructure. We have to get back to that true federalism. That's the only way everybody can have an equitable governance. Moving on now to Daily Sun. Super Cup Abakiare in trouble. Alleged one point one million dollar bribe. Hyper plays army for shutting emo market. Twenty twenty three Nigerians waiting for PDP to return. Says Atiku. DSS fails to produce 12 Igbo aids in court. Restructuring secession, not solutions to Nigeria's problems, says Ogbe. Why are we expecting PIB Electoral Act Amendment Bill, says Presidency? And Anambra Guba PDP begins campaign August 9th as OB Uzibo call for unity. Who has the IPOP story? Yes. yes, I have the story. So the IPO publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, has spoken against the fact that the market was shut down. That because um, the timber market in all Imo states has been shut down by the Nigerian army. And the reason he's um, against it is because he felt the Nigerian army is shutting it down based on the solidarity shown by the market, market people in the timber market in Olu for Namdekanu, and that this goes against the... Um, the fundamental human right they should have, that protection should be general, that the harassment of their people at the markets, they noticed it since um, July 26th, and that the traders have committed no crime, and by law they should be open for business. That why would the Nigerian army decide to intimidate Biafran? So I'm not, I don't like the idea of Biafran because there's nobody called officially in our country called Biafran, we're still Nigerians, and I believe that the Nigerian army should treat everybody as Nigerians, but this kind of statement would incite division, and we don't want that. If there is a conservation of human rights, deal with the issue. Don't start naming and creating okay. conspiracy. Um, so, Atiku went to visit Governor Union some wiki mm. in the state. He went to... Right. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know you said. ignored the story. Please, Sorry. I, I didn't get the memo. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much he said he came there to reconcile with the governor mm -hmm. on party affairs and how we can ensure that there is unity mm -hmm. and stability in the party so they can take over government in 2023. He says that Nigerians are waiting for the PDP to return. Hmm. I, just I wonder where you got that memo from. But the truth <laughs> is... Um, we, 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 there's need for a viable proposition. Yeah. Can I just take the Aljogwe story yes, where he, the chairman of Ariwa Consultative Forum was invited for a book unveiling and launch, and he was just saying that um, the problems that we're facing in the country cannot be solved by this restructuring and secessionist calls. 
that um, the United States of America recognized the different parts of that country and how it was important for them to have like unity with their different parts. And that is something that Nigerians need to recognize that our different parts, we need to come together and be united. Instead, we should face also um, the challenges that comes from revenue after oil, um, challenges of you know, just running our sort of governance, how expensive it is and things like that, instead of con um, concentrating on restructuring right. and the secessionist move. Okay, moving on to Vanguard. Oh, we did not um, forget the hush puppy story. It's our hot topic, so nobody should think that's going to work. No, we're not ignoring Calm it. Calm down. We will get to it. <laughs> moving on to Vanguard. <laughs> Tokyo Olympic shame. Outrage hmm. over ban of 10 Nigerian athletes. Akari Dolu, fresh crisis brews in APC over Supreme Court judgment. Yoruba Nation. No, Yoruba Nation. Why we are investigating Boho's associates, DSS tells court, U.S. court orders arrest of DCP Kiari over indictment by Hush Puppy. Forex ban, CBN shuts door against new broad exchange licenses, OPC kicks, OPS kicks, yeah. So the major headline, yeah. <laughs> hmm. 10 of our athletes were disallowed, let me know you kicked out from, you know, taking part in the Tokyo Olympics. And this is because... Now, the Athletics Federation of Nigeria have something to say. They who were, have the sole responsibility to carry out the duties and the reason for this ban, for this, uh, you know, uh, uh, disallowing them, they are now responding that it must be noted that no Nigerian athlete tested positive to prohibited substances. Um. And they are just taking proactive steps to avoid future occurrences by appointing a Professor Ken as the head of the Medical and Anti-Doping Commission of the Federation. So there are tests were that, there were tests that were, were pre, uh, pre, um, prerequisites. prerequisites to their going to the Olympics. Okay. Yeah. And those tests that were supposed to be done locally were not done by the Athletics Federation of Nigeria and whoever is the head of medical team. And those athletes proceeded, trained, and went, oh. hoping, you know, think, not knowing that these particular medical requirements were not met. So some of our athletes that, have, that are presently in the competition were trained outside. So okay. those ones had met the requirements and, you know, done these their medical These ah, ones that actually, came from home, they were trained, trained from home. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria yeah. happened to them. Uh -huh. yeah. Nigeria so you now them. have people talking. A, you know, a former AFN president speaking, saying this is a calamitous disaster, yeah, you know, <laughs> and that, you know, English, that, that they, 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 Nigeria um, not happened to us. What's our athletes, the popular one, the Messi Okagbari is so disappointed. She says this is what they do every time. Lack of preparation. You know, they do time. not you know how follow these, through. These athletes prepare intensely. This is a huge deal. This is like a career change. This is their life. This is their life. And just somebody's inefficiency or inadequacies. Mm -hmm. That they are busy pursuing uh, Esther codes, yes. busy pursuing endorsements. And they are pursuing, please. And, and now all of them have gotten, there's a lot of money that has been shared mm -hmm. towards the Olympics. Yes. And we are not going to the Olympics. So if there are no of us, consequences of are going. for the people please. whose duties they've just take. omitted, they have true. to run. We don't have to take the story of um, Bureau de Change. Um, the report has it that the government, the um, CBN. CBN has mandated that everyone whose application was pending, you know, they have a one million naira deposit they're supposed to have paid, uh, now should request for a refund. Mm -hmm. So they're supposed to send a mail or send a physical copy if they qualify for refund. 35 million naira is going to be refunded to all the applicants. That should be like 35. That's just asking for licenses. That asked for license for this yes. ban. And they had paid their money, they'll be paid back to them. Actually, but like I said, these people now they've planned their business, probably they've opened shop, designed all of all sorts, and now their business, the athletes prepared so for four see, years for Olympics, now they cannot you know, compete. I don't even understand. It's, not, it's not more about president, governor, it's, it's all of us. us. We are all, all of us. us. We're a nation of just incompetent, yes. selfish, selfish people. people. Yes. Period. All of us. Period. That's it. All of us. So sad. Painful. Let's go on a break. And this come is not Mongo. Eh? And we come and back. <laughs> Please, can I finish? Sorry. When we come back, we discuss the hush puppet here because the show is about your view. We'd like to hear your view on this matter. Stay with us. We'll be right back. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. 
our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics. And you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the VCR? All tip in place? VCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. But not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the VCR? All tip in place? VCR check. 
clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set, 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. So yesterday, social media was agog with mm. information about the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abba Kiari, who was indicted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the U.S. concerning the Hush Puppy case. According to the reports, Abba Kiari received bribe, allegedly worth $1.1 million mm -hmm. from Hush Puppy, that's, um, what is it, Abbas? The, the, the crime in question is $1.1 so, $1. million. Yeah, $1.1 $1. $1 million, yes, yeah, but that's not the amount he received. The so the, the question, therefore, is Nigerians are asking somebody who has been highly celebrated as a super cop, if you recall, this was a man who was quite gallant hmm. in his exploits concerning the Evans case, and that earned him quite a bit of promotion. I think it was the promotion he was given at the period. The point is, as Nigerians, what do you make of these reports coming from the Federal Bureau of Investigation concerning somebody who we consider uh, a super cop? You can call us on 081-270-53687, 091-390-76948. You can also send us messages on YouTube and uh, Facebook would like to read our tweets. Right, so... People we'll always read out. Would you like to say that? For those who have no yes. idea what we're talking about, please yes. let us read out the allegations. So the allegation is that um, um, the Hush Puppy and another person had a difference in opinion concerning the money that they had fraudulently acquired. And Hush Puppy now reached out to Abba Kerry. He sent a message. The text message is, please, sir, I want to spend money to send this boy. This boy's name is Chibuzo Kelly. I want to send this boy to jail. Let him go for a very long time. And then Kiari re responded, okay, bro, I understand. Mm -hmm. I will discuss with my team who arrested him and handling the case. We will do something about it. Then Hush Puppy responded, let me know how I can send money to the team, sir. Let them deal with him like I'm robber. And Kiari responded, okay, I will send the account details to you. Hush Puppy further wrote, he betrayed me and tried to take food out of my mouth. This is great, punishable sin. And Abakari responded, yeah, bro. And then Hush Puppy continued, I want him to suffer for many years. And Abakari responded, ha, ha, ha. And went ahead to, they said six minutes later, Abakari provided an account information for bank accounts at the Nigerian bank for this. Yeah. As reported in the paper. Yes. As reported, reported in, in the, the, as reported in the, the article. article. Yes. yes. So now, even prior before, to even, that, even prior to that, prior, yes. prior yes. to that, to that what happened was that the two yeah, of yeah. them had done a deal, and the Vincent guy now called the victim mm -hmm. and tried to expose Hush Puppy. So Hush Puppy then called Abakari, and Abakari's account is that Hush Puppy called to report a threat to his family in Nigeria, but, but interestingly, they, they now Nima. picked up this guy, yeah. locked him up for reportedly threatening the life mm. of somebody's family in Nigeria, mm. and then later released him. When they found that the... The, the, the U.S. Um, um, investigators have a picture that Abakari took of the, of the Vincent in prison and sent to Hush Puppy and as, as evidence. As, 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 evidence as confirming that he now he's in deten detention. Mm. And Hush Puppy celebrated that picture to his friends, saying, I tell Nana, I don't, I don't lock him up. You know that kind of thing. And so they have... Conversations. This is a neat investigation. Something that is simple logic that we always find it amazing here that they don't usually do. You know, it's not rocket science, but they did it in words, in conversations, and actions that followed surrounding that uh, Qatari so I 1 to, $1.1 million. Mm, uh, there was something I wanted to read out because, you see, before we start having a conversation on this, let's be clear. Let's mm. According out. to what FBI is saying, and these are all according to the FBI reports, nothing has been convicted yet, so there are still allegations. But when Abakiari rightfully asked 
um, Hush Puppet, what did this man do? Mm. Let me read to you what he said. He said, what he did, mm. I have one job. The job going to pay me 50, uh, 70, $575,000. He went to message the job behind me because I told him to help me make one document for me to give the job. Then he went, he has, I gave him the details. Then he went to message the job behind my back and tried to divert the money in his own, um, in the process, he tells the job. That's this person they want to do yeah, the, the job. The job. Yeah, because of the documents he gave me, that I gave him the job. He tells the job, these documents may be fake. You know, so it, it suggests to us that Abba Kiari has, has, an, has an idea or is yeah, aware yeah, what, 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 what the yeah. transaction is about. That's, that in itself is that, 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 so, so that, that suggests Abba that. Abba Kiari's rejoinder was that. Okay. A, a, a report of a life threat to the families of Osh Poppy in Nigeria was made to his team. He acted swiftly. He picked up the guy. And when he found that there was nothing to it, he let he him let go. The guy go. Seeming like and I the arrested him in was... the morning and released him in the evening. But from what we've read now, he didn't do that. He took a picture sent to Hush Puppy. Mm -hmm. And also, in the rejoinder, he said he has never collected yeah, money. No, I'm coming there. Ah, ah, there. Coming there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he now said that after that was done, mm -hmm. Hush Puppy on its separate arrangements now saw a picture of him in native. Attire. I bet also people not begin to be on a cloth. No. <laughs> so no. let me finish. So he said that he saw him in his native attire mm -hmm. and, and showed interest. He now connected him, you know, to the person who made the dress, and later money was paid for the dress to so about th of 300, about three hundred thousand naira. naira. That's all. That's mm -hmm. So, according to um, our super cop, there was no direct transaction between himself and um, Osh Poppy. Mm -hmm. But according to the investigations from the FBI, he is culpable and he's been declared wanted. Okay. Now, my, my um, first thought was, as a nation, what are we going to do? Mm. What is the government going to do? For me... In the papers, well, let me respond to that, because in the papers today, mm. the, the police the they're going to start an investigation. Mm -hmm. So before we, we go at Abba Kiari, let us also remember that he is also one of our own. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. yes, go ahead. But, okay. So okay. here for me, what, 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 one thing that I've said, we are fighting multifaceted in corruption at high level that even we that we don't understand the intelligence gathering feel like it shouldn't be rocket science to understand how these criminals are getting away with what they are getting away with. That there must be some people culpable. In the papers today, um, the Minister of Defence said that we cannot take out the fact that they are bad elements and corrupt mm -hmm. security officials who are allowing lack of intelligence gathering and mm -hmm. not following through with um, investigations mm -hmm. cause this fight against security, the um, insecurity to thrive. So when we see things like this, it buttresses the point that there must be high powers culpable. that are culpable in allowing the insecurity thrive in Nigeria, mm -hmm. both the banditry, both the cybercrime. We have seen, we see powerful people. This is the same... Um, um, Abba Kiari, you know, the last party that we did just a few... Oh, uh, the, oh, yes, the, 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 the So, so when you are associated with high and mighty mm -hmm. people, and we see there is no questioning. I'm not, I'm not going to attack. There is not... Um, uh, Obi Kubana hasn't been found guilty of any crime. He has explained how he got his money, explained his relationship with Abba Kiari, but as we are investigating Osh Poppy, we found all the people affiliated with him. That is how you do a thorough investigation. In Nigeria, when you investigate one person, so we, do not, we don't list all the people in such a way that you know there's a transparent investigation. I feel that when you're, when, if you're an honorable person, mm. you should step outside. There should be an extradition. Go and defend yourself in America. Uh, resign temporarily from your position. Like... I want this investigation. I'm a very honest person. I'm a super cop. I want thorough investigation. I will step back from this. I'll go and answer the questions in America because you know you have nothing to hide. Okay. So this is where my own concern is. I will get you your know? concern in a minute. Let's in a minute. go in a break. When we come back, <laughs> you continue. We also want to hear what Nigerians think about this. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Would you like to join us on this mission? Yes, but how? Just one question for you. 
How do you keep your toilet clean? I use regular detergent and bleach for washing and removing yellow stains. I have been using it for years. Oh, mother, the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes. To disinfect your toilet properly, you need Hapic 10X. It is specially made for germs and stains remover. Hapic sticker formula settles on stains and gives 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergent and bleach. Wow! Praise yourselves, get truckloads of unbeatable deals at game stores. Shop unbeatable deals on a wide range of products at low, low prices. Deals valid until 4th of August. You've got game and game's got you. Mommy is back! Guess what's inside? Chocolate! Biscuits! Our new toothpaste, Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. Why are we changing our toothpaste? Because with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, I can be sure your teeth are cavity free. Cavity? What cavity? Let me show you. Most toothaches are caused by tooth holes called cavities. Ah! When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavity. Colgate is the world's most chosen toothpaste. Colgate locks calcium in... Keeps cavities out! Recommended by Nigerian Dental Association. See, nurse, she's saying she feels unwell, despite my efforts to practice good hygiene. Mom says wash your hands to keep the germs away. Washing hands is good, but surfaces can also have germs, and you shouldn't use just anything for cleaning them. Use Jig. Jig's formula has been scientifically proven to stay active for longer, giving you whitening and germ kill protection on a variety of surfaces. Disinfect to protect, just Jig it. Endorsed by National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives. With my pregnancy, I started looking for the best of everything for my baby. When I met Morphix Newborn, I said this is the type I'm looking for. The formula of happiness for me is Morphix Newborn. There are no harmful substances in Morphix. I feel very comfortable while my baby sleeps peacefully. With its special umbilical cord and soft upper surface. Come on mothers, try Morphix Newborn and join our happiness movement. I am always thinking about your well-being, so when I learn that 7 out of 10 children in Nigeria are iron deficient and this slows their growth, affects learning, and can cause anemia, I got worried. Mom is right. One sachet of Serilac Junior with Iron Plus a day provides 50% of your child's daily iron need to support proper growth and learning. That's reassuring. Serilac Junior with Iron Plus. It's all good, Mom. Mommy is ready to receive me a bundle of <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this issue of the DSP, uh, Abba Kiari, the allegations made against him. And I'd like to just read uh, from what uh, Femi Fanika, the former uh, Minister of Aviation, had posted, saying that a super cop that has risked his life protecting us from kidnappers, murderers, and terrorists all these years, that, that has been arrested, he has actually arrested more criminals than any other. He's accused of taking bribe from Yahoo boys and scammers he would not believe that. So the point is that, in, in, in fairness to Abakiari, this is somebody who has been highly decorated, double promotion. So this is somebody who has been very daring and, and fought criminals for us. And we, we cannot lose sight of what he has done. If yes, I mean, these are allegations. Wait, these are, wait listen, I'm just saying, these are allegations. Before but we, we shouldn't lose sight of no, how before important we fly, how, before what we fly, he has done. Before yes. we fly with what the, uh, we just read, do we remember who read, who said it? Oh, it's very funny. funny Kayo day. Yes. No, but even without Hold on a minute. Oh, to, yes. talk about, see, you, we, we need to put things where they are. If you're supposed to be an unbiased, un, un, impartial, 
person, your office is such that you know you don't have any, you are not for anybody, you are for nobody kind of office. You can't don't be seen. Mm -mm. The moment I saw Abakari in Oba, I wondered who will now investigate the source of the money's flying. Mm. Everybody was extravagantly insulting the Naira. Who would ask, what is your source? You are the police. Mm. You don't friend people like that. It is not an insult when you say he's not a friendly person. It is a credit to you. Mm. It is in your honor, in your name. You don't just jolly around and say people, hey, Tass. Did you read his reply? He said, now Guinea I sell for him. Our own DCP is selling Guinea. The full canoe market cannot sell Guinea. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, please, please, no, please one let's minute. Let's no, let's talk let's my, see, see, see. Please. It is this dropping of standards that we got here. Yeah. When you cannot say somebody is against your haters, when you cannot question, how come? Ha, I know this boy yesterday was just 19. This car is supposed to be 5 million. How come? And you're supposed to be bad belay. That's why we got here. You are somebody I should be able to walk up to and get justice if I have a good side of my story, not if I pay. Mm. And then the person that I'm, I, I, I'm bringing the case against is a big supposed man who has money. And mm. suddenly he gets justice. And you are his friend. I, 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 mean, I mean, doing that, doing uh -uh. Okay, let me take this call. I have a call from Abuja. Good morning, are you there? Uh, good morning. You're alive. Go ahead, please. Uh, the issue is that uh, about uh, Abakeri, DCP Abakeri, he is just going to resign and go to the and answer the query. That is my only advice. Thank you very much, Hashma. Yes, Mara. Oh, okay. So, first of all, we're dealing with the FBI here. Mm -hmm. And we know that uh, they have a reputation of doing their investigation thoroughly. Oh, yeah. And all the... Um, what we have read, we have seen dates, we have seen time, we have seen description, we have seen pictures, we have seen account details. So really, it is really tough to look at that article and say, well, um, this is a witch hunt. When we do the Nigerian investigation, because so many things are just, you know, just Idiot. done so shoddily, we can say, oh, it's just, it's, it's really a witch hunt. In this case, they are facts. And the only thing we expect from... Abakari right now is to prove himself, you know, take some time out of your office and say, I cannot stand for this accusation. Yes. And because of that, I will prove. Yes. He made a rejoinder. And in the rejoinder, it, he, he came across like he was saying, for those of you who are celebrating and jumping for all this money, yeah. no monies were collected by us or by me and my so team. Yes, you know, and this is what we did instead. So in that same vein, I just want him to also tell us that because of that, I'm going to make sure that my I bank clear my name. Mm -hmm. my, yes, my bank statement. There's nothing to show. And given the article that has been, um, that has been shown to us that we've yes. all read, the FBI is mistaken, and this and this and this, maybe he'll take some time because it just came out yesterday. Maybe he too will take some time and show it us articles nice. on yeah. how this may just be um, a misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. But if it is not a misunderstanding, if everything in that article is true, I would like to know what the presidency is going to do about this. Exactly. Okay. Fantastic. Because so I would like, so it's not let, let, let's pack it there. Okay. Let's wait for the investigation. Okay. Let's wait for the presidency. Let's pack it for a second. But now I want us no. to move. Yeah. Before the we investigation, yeah. when this sort of thing happens, and you your this, your super cop has been named in such a thing like this, what are the immediate things to do within 24 to 48 hours? Suspension. And this is this is we need from this is yeah we need we need to hear that. A warrant of arrest has been issued by a sitting judge. High court judge in another country concerning your super cop, whoever your citizen is. Because in Nigeria, we will fail to extradite somebody for a case in the US till today. That person became senator in this country. Mm -hmm. When the question comes about your character, you do what it is to launder and clear your name as much as possible. That is the, the legitimate way. You don't just do a Facebook post, say that no money is not passed. I only sent him a tailor's address of for my guinea clothes and all of you haters. Mm. It is not about us. This right. is about a nation. Okay, let me take this call from Martins. Martins, are you there? My dear sister. You're alive. Uh, Go ahead. Is, uh, yeah. You see, it is unfortunate that most time in this country, when issues like this come up, a lot of people get sentimental about it. In the first place, what will even make anybody to be celebrating about Kiari when a lot of uh, independent agencies have not been able to celebrate him? In the, somebody who is a public official, you are supposed to be defending the society. You were saw in Oba, the, the man who employed you, the IG, did not call you to ask you questions. Mm. Because you don't do this in developed lands. 
even if you are the best officer, your character, your associate, you are supposed to be very mindful of them. These things don't happen in development where you will say because you are the chief justice of the federation, you go packing up and down. You don't do that. Okay, thank you very much, Marjan. I want us to put this matter on one side because okay. there are other issues. Mm -hmm. Like, let us see how in Nigeria we have these media trials. So you see EFCC goes in busting. You know how they busted the Koyi mm -hmm. uh, apartment? They saw $43 million and all that media was splashed and then nothing happens. So, what, so the point I'm trying to make is that how do we ensure that we actually do a thorough investigation you know how they do these steel operation? They just do it quietly, oh, and you think they don't have any information. Oh, no, no. That's because if, if Abba Kiari had seen this report, maybe he would have not made the rejoinder he made. Yeah. That's where that, that's 300,000 naira that was passed. Yes. So the point I'm trying to make is that, why are we too so quick to go to a newspaper saying, ah, we busted them without doing thorough investigation? Well, that's number so. one. Number I two, agree. how do we begin to question people's sources of income? Hmm. Especially as an officer of the state. The police, the EFC, do we ask the right questions when we see these people throwing money around? Yes, so there's, a, there's a saying that, you know, BF Palo saying that you need to, if you want to steal, steal so much that your hands will quickly reach justice. Yeah. Mm. And they, they say, be, don't, 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 don't play small, play so big that your best friends are the IGP, the, the CP, mm. all of them are, you, are your best pals. Yeah. You, the judge, the judge would keep indefinite, um, what do they call that stuff, when they postpone, adjourn, adjourn the court case indefinitely. Mm. It is a very sad reality, and we know that the only way to solve Nigeria's problem is to provide justice and equity. Like, unbiased justice would be the solution to Nigeria's problem. So starting from the fact that many parades that the, that the police do is illegal. You parade someone without conviction, like you, par you, you arrest media. people and then media. you put them on the road and you parade them and you call the media to interview them. That, that on its own is wrong because see the story of what happened with the super, bus, um, super TV bus. The story keeps changing. The girl has given like four versions of what happened that day. <coughs> there was no need for the entire media to be the one to know and be asking questions from someone when you haven't investigated thoroughly. So that's on one end. On the other end is the fact that we don't hear the end of these stories. We had James um, Ibori convicted because it took place in the UK. In the UK. We had um, Deizani. The story about Deizani's corruption started from Nigeria. The fact that there were jury, all the stories started here, but we couldn't get a conviction. Ibori started here, we didn't get a conviction until the case involved an international um, yeah, law court. court, and then they got a conviction. Why do we have to, why, what does it seem that we have we have watered down the power of the law to get okay, justice. Let me take this why, why is Evans' case still pending? Yeah. And uh, Abba no, Kiare was the head of that team. Mm. And as neat as it was that he showed us that, you know, I expect by now a prosecution to complete. Have to why let me take Salis when I come to Miriam. Salis, are you there? Hello, Salis, you're alive. Go ahead, please. How are you doing? Good. Reduce the volume so, of your TV hello. and talk to me. Yes, go ahead, please. Can you hear me now? I very I clearly. I was very shocked and sad when I heard the news of Abu Kayari. Yes. I've never met him as a man because I like the way he carries out discharging his officer duty. Hello? We are can, go ahead. We can hear so you clearly. I was, I was confused when I heard, I was listening to the, the newspaper review and him Abu Kayari himself confirmed that he was collected 300 million pounds. Oh through the, from his fellow as a gift for his captain. So that was the loan I saw that, yes, I'm highly disappointed in him. Because as a very active police officer that people believe in him. So I pray for him to God, may God just deliver him out of this case. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for, 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 for that. Okay, so there's something that we need to talk about. When we talk about bad eggs in a basket and things like that and how it corrupts, and now the question is, do we have more bad eggs than good eggs in government? Mm. The eggs mm. don't when we are talking about police, we have complained, people have reported many times on, on this table, we have discussed how um, that particular gov uh, sector, um, police seem to be complicit in a lot of things. We have those who are standing on the road and collecting bribes. We have taken stories in papers of police officers who shoot someone because they did not give that roadside bribe. 
We're talking of people who, lawyers who will tell you that their cases have been refused, their clients have been held back because they did not pay bribe at the police station. So it has almost become a culture to associate corruption and the police force. We're not saying that every single one person or every single police officer is corrupt, but they are in a system where it seems that corruption system supersedes system. anything. And I'm wondering how many of the good cops are left and what are they doing? And, and do they even have any rights? Do they they have, do? What, what do they, when they see something, who do they point to? I mean, when they know, because they are colleagues and they work together, who do they tell? that this person has done something or this person is complicit in something yeah. and who listens to them. Mm. So for me, if it is a case of a bad cop that has been caught, kudos on, on, on us Nigerians. But if it's a case, well, for me, I, I, I can't see it any oh, other way. I just feel that if it's a case guy. of... This was no, a good guy. No, 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 no. This, this is our good guy. I'm saying this given this cop. case, this is our given, given this case right now, it shows that our police is complicit in a lot of things and that's why we do not get the sort of investigation that police. we need. I'm in Everybody. You know, was telling us that, listen, protect yourselves. You know, you were saying, your army. Yeah, yeah. You, you, know you, you said earlier that we're all involved uh, we're in one way or the other. So the reason I even talked about police on the streets is that for many of us, too, we see them. on police, the streets, you collect gifts from army, people that you know citizens. that you suspect their source of income, but you're happy to collect the bags and the shoes yeah. and the hair and everything and go on trips with them. We have to and run. you do not understand where they get their money from. Have to go on a break. When we come back, we'll take some messages and then we, 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 we conclude on this. This is, um, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listen.
Check. Are we set in the VCR? All time in place. VCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this matter, and I remember that uh, recently during the Obi Kubana's mother's burial. Um, Kanayo Kanayo was saying, listen, hmm, make plenty of money so that uh, EFCC will not come on. You know, and people then started Post interpreting training. that mm -hmm. as saying, oh, is it like you should steal enough that you can able to get away around the law, the, uh, the security operatives? So that is why I'm saying, how is it possible for somebody far away in a different country can call a whole DCP to make an arrest and you automatically, the same way, the, a man in his house can just say, ah, police, please, oh, my house boy stole 10,000 naira. Come and arrest him. So that's and what Mariam said. And they throw the boy in, in jail you with one month. Everywhere. And then, or your house girl did this, or your, or your driver did this. And just without any investigation, you just throw him in jail first. Mm -hmm. Is that how, if my madam lawyer, I'll come to you. Is that, is that, <laughs> does, it, does the law allow us, because of your level in society, because of how much money you make, to just call a police officer? We so have, I make arrest without any investigation. Personal when we beef. have laws against malicious prosecution, false uh, uh, accusations and all of that, is that how they make it? You have a, a case of crime. You either report it as maybe it's happening immediately mm. or you have suffered a, 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 a criminal fraud or anything. You call your lawyers. They make a petition. They write to the commissioner of police or to the DPO, whichever the station is in front of your area, and then the police take action. There must be a basis for why they will go to somebody's house. Somebody will allege something that they would go and okay. investigate. Okay, they so will then come on site. Uh, and if, you will just come to my house now and say, no crime, and you're just investigating me. You must have a basis. Okay, we saw a video of you as the police, whether they took it on their own initiative, but party party, I'll just carry food. I just look more, I do not like her eyes. Uh, bro, how far? I have to deal with Mora. I don't okay. like her glasses. Yeah. You know, yeah, but, 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 but to be fair in uh -huh. that, eh, uh, we know that wealth and there's some things that gives you some sort of influence. Cla okay. And that one happens all over the world, you know, where you have attained something or you have some, a lot of money or you're well-known in it. So you're able to get mm. direct access to what people would normally follow a long mm. process to get. So mm. that, let's put that aside. My question is, many people, when Hush Puppy was flaunting his wealth on social media. Many regular Nigerians that did not even go to school thought, this looks suspicious. Ah. And I'm wondering, at the time he was having his relationship with um, the, DS, um, the DSP, at what point did he feel suspicious about what his friend may be getting? Like, ah, who is this person mm. that we are friends with and he's making so much money? Did he bring Which his industry um, does, police? Yeah. Yes, did he put on his police cap and think, ah, I need to look into this. Or oh, even as a friend, ah, bro, where is all this coming they from? Call I, I just know. Bro, yeah, they mean. call themselves bro. Like, where is all this coming from? Mm. Because this is based off on the rejoinder that is sent, which is I really have nothing to do with him. In fact, the only money that we that has gone between us is towards buying what, what something. About what so at what point what was the job? What was the job? 
Because we're already yes, part of, exactly. And I have a job. job. So I have a job. So at what point those like that, you know, the lingua that is between you, I find it that it would be very difficult for him to be able to say that he didn't know him beyond he didn't what he joined that thing, is he suspecting? That I found pretty interesting in that article because I read that FBI article like a novel. My fact, I was just reading. I was like, hey, hey, this is the Hollywood movie. That all these luxurious wristwatches mm. they are buying the jewelry Lifestyle. it's all laundry. Yes, they are, it's like like a dry cleaners. You're mm. dry cleaning the money. Mm. You're using it to buy all these things, using them as collaterals. Mm. They are, it's, it's interesting when you see all these people flaunt these big things. It's not because mm. they want to use it. They, do, uh -huh. they are just using it as a way to launder the money and to wash it clean so that by the time it's traced, it's not traced back to the source. Mm. And that was quite revealing for me because when you see these guys flaunting their wealth on social media, mm. and you wonder how many wristwatches does he want to buy? Mm. How, how many, many that? Which one would that be coming buy? of the Lord? Well, it's because it's, dry, it's being dry cleaned. Yeah. But to launder They're all dry cleaners. So for me, I, I think that at the end of the day, um, it is. I would. I, I cannot wait for what the, our own investigation will police come up with. Commission. Honestly, I cannot wait for what the police will come up with because there is no way that you cannot find there's a, um, a culpable. Yep, it won't percent truth. truth in what is going on, and it is enough grounds because if you're questioning someone at that level, if you let the person remain there, it would continue to say. It would. It would. The, the flow would continue all through. So we need to have public show of. This person has been found culpable. We deal with the person appropriately for okay. that. Let me, I would like to link this because we're talking about illegalities, talking about that is um, now accepted. Um, things that are unacceptable. Um, unacceptable. <laughs> another video went viral of a lawmaker in Borno throwing money. Uh, Ibrahim Abuma. I mean, obviously, we know because just recently we had Salah, but he ha we saw him actually remove bundles bond, and bundles. bundles. Yeah, wrapped. Throwing into people are scrambling for it. Mm. Part of what is, wrong with, what is wrong with us in this country? Mm. We just criticized Obi Kubana the other day. At least know? we can. We, when least we, we, even when we criticized Obi Kubana, we said it was his money. He's not a government official. He's yes. not associated with government in any way. Yes. This person, mm. this mm. particular person spraying money is a serving, Senator. currently serving senator in a state that is ridden in crisis. So maybe you are serving in South. East or, or somewhere that is peaceful or a, a state that is not on the map. Borno State is on the map. If you are traveling to Nigeria, it is one of the areas where people, there's a, a um, travel advisory against visiting yeah. that state. Mm. Then you have a seven senator representative. He's not a senator, he's a lawmaker. Like, seven House of, House of, of Representatives. Yes. Um, honorable, 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 yes. Please. Spreading, money, sharing money like that. For me, it's, it is please, it's all shades not, of wrong. It was all not shades. even sharing money. It's throwing money at the crowd. Inhuman. We remember when 50 Cent even did that, and uh, one uh, of our rappers then mm. called him. You know, insulted him for doing that. Don't treat my people like that. Don't throw, yeah, injuries, Abdul Karim. Don't throw money at my people like that. It is disrespectful. Then we have the person who is supposed to be representing his people. He thinks he should stand on a high pedestal and be throwing monies at people. It's so shameful and embarrassing to that man. Exactly. There are things called empower the people to your constituencies, right? Define empowerment. Some of them say it's throwing money at them. They give them keke and pep. They give them a, what do they call that thing again? That's a blender. Yeah. They give them all sorts of mishai and wheelbarrow. Yeah. wheelbarrow. Yeah. So how do we, how do you define empower me, empowering your people? What exactly, exactly is empowerment? Because to him, part of his job is to empower no. his constituency. And that's obviously what he's no. doing. He's throwing money no, at no, them. No, 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 no. That, that, one was not that, 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 that video is all shades of wrong. And we, we have seen many people do things that are this despicable and remain in the National Assembly, which is wrong. Right. You cannot be a lawmaker and be a, a very well, obvious lawbreaker. The people who would decide if you would still represent them are like the that. Of, lawmaker, lawbreaker. Or, um, honorable um, people Ibrahim from Mafa Dikwa Federal Constituency. I don't want who that. Come the ones who will determine, and these are the people he's treated That's like it. this. For me, my problem is the mindset. When you give your people monies like this, you know you've taken away their dignity. Mm. 
a, a, a person who is dignified in his labor, content in his way of life, has a little respect for himself who walk away from this spraying. But your constituency, largely, were fighting to That's get the people. money. You are their representative. The little, the best of mindsets would hate this for his own people. Unfortunately, you don't even hate it. You're okay with it. You, ah, it's sad. What has happened in Nigeria it's is that sad. the bad has become the normal. celebrated and the normal. And then good behavior has become what people are ashamed of. So you see someone who behaves like that. Usually, I get, usually when you talk, they will say you're just hating because you're not the one spraying the mm -hmm. money. You don't have that sort of money, so you hate on someone like that. And mm -hmm. that is someone who is telling the truth. Then the person who is doing the bad behavior is being hailed. Mm. Then we are raising children in a society that we cannot even differentiate what is good and what's bad. Exactly. Because what is bad is constantly celebrated. Mm -hmm. I hope that, you know, with conversations like this, and when we talk and point it out, that people will even sit down and question. So there's the mindset of those people standing there and scrambling for the money. So people will say, yes, it's poverty, it's their money. But we heard recently in Ghana, where a politician took food to the people, they took the food back and put it back in his truck. Want your rice. You cannot buy us. We don't want it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to stand up to these people. We don't want your money. Don't throw money at us. Look at what we are going through. These are the infrastructure that we need. Don't, don't throw money at us. Don't throw they don't have um, schools. Naira and kidnapped. whatever at us. And they should walk away. If there was no one to pick the money, who yeah, would but when they are hungry, when, when, they, they, when, they, when the level of poverty is this much, the person who should be concerned that this is not how I want my people to feed, mm. this is in, in the, the most undignified way to treat my people, is the person spraying the money. Now, you guys will change that situation. It is this kind of lawmaker that is in the National Assembly. Is the man that is the one that is supposed to be debating yes. issues of gender equality, mm. issues of uh, education. Of education. Would this is man, true federalism. So, when, yes, so with a man like this, would he be able to reason? No, no, no. no. Would he be able to contemplate the necessity, the, 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 the need for self determination? Yes. yes. Because he's giving so the. This, so, those, are, so those lawmakers from certain regions who are trying to be um, intelligent to make, make who, who are trying to make a difference for their people, mm. would have to contend with people like this yes, in the National right. Assembly. Mm -hmm. So, why do you blame our lawmakers? What can they do? They're minorities, really, if you look at it. Those numbers. Ones, and it's really yes. sad. Numbers. So for me, I think that, um, one, I think that the Speaker of the Na National no. Assembly, yes. the Speaker of National yes. Assembly can, ha they, there's, a, there's a code the of conduct. Ethics there's yeah. an ethics yeah. committee. Yeah. No, the no, 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 ethics no, no, committee, are, there is a way you should um, um, comport yourself yes. as a lawmaker. Mm -hmm. they are, they, they they, have they, you, have to, they, you have to follow that line. So there can be some disciplinary action because if you don't discipline, our children are watching. And they are seeing this as a normal thing. And we don't, it, it, people don't know how they should be treated. It is a leader that says, you deserve better. That creates a vision for we the people. We have to wrap up on this, unfortunately. We have to bring in our celebrities. Yes, I, I would really like to hear his thoughts on something. It would be nice. Yes. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Clock is Plants all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How would you come? Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics. And you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. I want 
on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all tip in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are. plans all set 120 minutes of hot entertainment we are ready for the mission doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. To join the conversation, we have a talented actor who has been in the industry for over a decade. Known for his, known for his captivating roles and always delivers above expectations with lots of television series and movies to his credit. Welcome with us, Mr. Baba Jide Awobano, only called <laughs> Jide Awobano in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Good to have you. Finally, I'm on these hot seats. Oh, it's not hot Be comfortable. It is it. hot seats. <laughs> It's actually yeah. one of my favorite shows. Oh, thank you. And I've been thank keeping you. up with you guys for a while now. Oh, thank oh, you so much. Thank good you. good yeah. to have you. So we're going to talk about your career in a minute. But before you came on, we were talking about this lawmaker in Borneo throwing money. And you can see him laughing there. <sighs> I know. And we also tried to link that up with um, the allegations the made against um, Abakiari, our super cop, a uh, cop that we're so proud of, you know, one of our gallant officers. And people feel quite disappointed on these allegations. What are your own general thoughts on this? I mean, what do you make as a citizen, as a Nigerian? What do you make of all this? Well, I've been trying so hard not to say anything about this because this is just um, a summary of Nigeria. 
Mm. Yes, it's to tell you that the country is faulty. A lot of things have actually been happening and um, we'll just keep talking and talking and talking. It will still occur again. It will keep reoccurring and we have nothing to do again about it. If not for every every I that intervened now, probably oh. <laughs> we won't be having this conversation oh, right now. So we would have been running for office in a few years. Yes. Yes. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very faulty yeah. country. And, mm -hmm. um... <laughs> but, you know, but do you think that, this, I mean, this, this is also the ladies, do you think that this is an indication for, maybe it, it, it will strengthen the desire for restructuring? Because the truth is that maybe we're just so many of us, just, the, 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 there's so much rot in the system that we can't Nobody really can fix. It's it hard to been. fix. So maybe by the time we maybe divide this thing up to maybe regions, it will be, be smaller and more governable, or maybe it will be too easy to remove, remove the bad eggs or identify them or investigate. Because maybe because it was just a large 200 million people, it's so difficult. I mean, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Because it, 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 there's rot everywhere. Mm. Among Ooh, citizens, among lawmakers, exactly. among governors, everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no smoke without fire, you understand? The problem is... It's, at, it's, in, it's actually from the roots, you yes. understand? So it's actually, so I don't know where we're going to start from. We just keep praying to God. I keep talking about this and I can't provide a solution because next, tomorrow something worse is going to happen again. Mm. Well, I think it's, a, I think it's, God a, it's, forbid. it's, it's we, don't, we don't need to scatter. We, because when we, starting together with good leadership, we can fix everything that's happening in this country. Yeah. Um, but but it, would be, it would involve a lot of sacrifice on the part of everybody because all of us sort of profit from the cri crisis that we are in. It's this from the corruption, covers, the everything. Corruption. It, it covers every hospitals to uh, media houses. You want to get in media airtime everywhere, bro. The Cleaners, is everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. It is everywhere. So it would involve someone who is really, really going to do, what, like what we've been saying, benevolent dictator. Who will tell you mm. whether you like it or not? I want you to have a better life. You know, yes. I have a vision for a better life for this country, Condition. and I'm going to make sure that all of you would line up and give, fall in line and give us a better you life. Yes, I'll see Rwanda now. How many, uh, how many terms yeah, are you so far? You cannot have that in a democracy. <laughs> yeah, but you cannot have one person deciding Decide. whether you like it or not. This is the yeah. way we go in a democracy. Also, just tried it with a third term, and there you go. Hey, yeah. Because he really wanted to just stay on and try okay. to see. I mean, yes, maybe not good enough. Agree, but the truth is, like, mm. democracy doesn't allow you to do that. Mm. But sometimes we need something, something really drastic. And I think, I mean, well. I don't know. Let, Some, let's sometimes I wish we're still in the military regime. You understand? Maybe <laughs> we won't be having but, but, this conversation. No, the military got us here. Yes. They, 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 they there. created that vacuum, that mm -hmm. period of time when they were there, and monies became the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you, you yeah. lawlessness thrived. It was about connections, and, and now it, it seems like we can't catch up again. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to your interview. Since I, I, I mean, you've been in the movie industry for a while now, and you've been seeing quite a bit of series and. Um, let, let, what, what, what's, I don't want to ask you the usual question of how has it been in the yeah. industry. I don't want to ask you that I'm question. I'm tired of asking <laughs> the same question. But in, in your view, do you, do you, do you believe that um, Nollywood is, is improving? Because one of, the, one of the worries we've had is that, yes, they have the new entrance into the industry, but is there progress? Are we just having lots of, we're just scrambling for what is, what's left? Or are we really moving forward? Are we getting to that place where we are now doing world-class, recognizable <coughs> movies that are exportable to the world? Okay, like I tell people who condemn Nigerian movies, I'll be like, what kind of movies do you watch? How many movies do you watch? When was the last time you saw a movie? That's we have, we have movie. bad American movies as well. Yes. Do you understand? So I tell people, see, we have good movies and we have bad ones. And there is one saying in the industry that you don't have to wait till you have the millions before you can make anything creative. Just that, gradually you grow. So that is why you cannot afford not to see some witchy witchy um, movies. You understand? Well, we have great movies. Yeah. Uh, you know, as an actor, sometimes I wonder because of the complaints we all get, like, oh, okay. we're not getting enough. Do you feel you're being challenged enough by production, by directing, to give your best or to act in such a way that, you know, it pushes your creative, it, it squeezes out your creative juices? Or you think it's just easy peasy roles that you can just sleep and wake up and do. Do you think you're being challenged enough? Well, of course. I did one recently where I had to kiss another woman's wife. I'm someone's husband as well, so I had to... I said, people that were blasting me, I'd be like, see, you people are complaining that we're not giving our best. And this is... If you're watching an American movie where someone is kissing, you don't see that as a big deal, you just why, applaud why them. Why way? is my own not a problem, you why understand? That so that's actually it. <laughs> kiss it's it's, it's, wife. it's okay. my role. What I'm it's trying to say is... It's your mouth kiss. It's a mouth kiss. No, no, what I'm... Uh, no. 
It's not dog mossy. No, no, no. There's nothing like dog mossy. This has to do with the mind. Okay. Do you understand? Woman dog one scene in American movie. They only do it dog mossy. Then they dog one. Let me tell you. The tongues don't enter. It's just the tongue. The only the lips only lock and that's it. And my tongue didn't enter as well. Just be sure. But but then the lip locking is blocking. What you're seeing is actually different from what is happening. You understand? It's perception. So that was challenging for you to kiss someone. It was challenging. Let us stay on this way. Because some will tell you, I can't do this. Mm. Oh, and that makes you a lesser actor because I'm versatile. I'm ready to do anything. You understand? I'm, is there I, something you will not do? Definitely, there's some things I will not. Okay, do. Okay, so in definitely. that kind of situation, let me let me stay on that situation. When when a man when you when you try to lock lip, they let not say it's kissing because not okay. really kissing. It's just lock lipping with somebody else's wife. Okay. Does any part of your body move? <laughs> well, that's where the discipline comes from. Yes. It's just like you saying when a medical doctor is trying to... No, it's just like you saying when a medical doctor is trying to check He's a doing pregnancy oh, and, check the and all that. Yeah. You know, that's where the discipline comes from. Oh, discipline. Mm. And professionalism. Mm. Look at this straight friend he uses. 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 At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Is that all you going to say? Is that Passionate love making in marriage. If you don't believe me, you can ask my wife. 
What's happening here? Fault! I fault! You're taking the too far! Do you realize this is my wife you're treating like this? I'm sorry. Tell me. Can you all please leave my house? No! Wow, spunk. <laughs> yes, okay. So, um, you know, I don't want us to stay on, or we're going to stay on that, the last questions before we went, because I just realized that um, you, you mentioned a bit of it during the break. Emotional attachment that happened during... A filming. Um, filming, long, yes. Yeah. Um, you, relationships build. Have you ever been in that space where you got attached to someone, like you meet someone really, really nice, and you really connected with the person on set, and you sort of go back home, and you're still remembering, like, does that even before you got married? I'm not saying in marriage. Well, um, I can't really um, fix on anyone right now, but then I think it it happens sometimes. But it depends on what you really want for yourself. You can get an attachment with someone, but there's a lot to to any relationship. Have you ever dated in the industry before marriage? I haven't. Oh, so you oh, are drawn so that line. Your wife is not from the industry. No, she's not. Oh, how okay. is she coping with you being out there? Well, she's a very understanding person, and she's my friend. So when you're married to your friend, sure. uh, you know it's a yes, different cool. thing. Yes. Okay, Nima. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, me, I've, I've always known you. I knew when you started with um, uh, Super Story. And I've always known you, Sam. On you are a fan. Jenny, <laughs> fan. Yeah. I've, I've not finished. And now I remember that the lockdown made me discover you on Instagram. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> and all those, your funny, uh, toy rapping, female TikTok looking. videos. TikTok yeah. videos. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I wanted you to tell this story of consistency and being in the, the, the business, and being in, consistent in the, your journey. Yes. How it was, the step by step, you know, when you finally do make that uh, big stage, you're getting the endorsements. Yeah. People think it's like that. You know that not, you didn't, what was the process like? When, how did you pay your dues? How do you know how, and how patient were you to get, you Well, know? Um, this profession is a very selfish one, mm. very jealous one that doesn't give you room to actually do so many other things. I'm a very versatile person. I'm a very industrious person. I like to do so many things, do business, do all that. But then this career has actually deprived me from doing so much of this stuff. So it wasn't very easy because when I was just starting, my remuneration, my remuneration was very low. So I tried to juggle it up with other things, but then it wasn't coming, you understand? But then it made me realize that once you're doing something and you're consistent about it, one day you're going to get a break, you understand? So I can smile to the bank now, yeah. you understand? So. It's not about the fact that I'm fulfilled 100% yet, but yeah, then I'm not where I used to be. Mm. Yes. So. so talking about smiling, one thing that you know for is your crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we know the Hilda Dokubo for her crying. Yes. And I wonder, do you have a, does it just come naturally to you, or is there a, a something, something that, that you triggers. use to help you? you? Because I've heard some people say they use them, um, Aboniki. <laughs> Make sure that they cry. Yes, want so to they, get they, blind. They put it in the eye yeah. and, and well, for me, for up. me, I don't have to cry. It's only more that I cry. You can be emotional without even tearing up. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But then, it's about understanding what you're playing. It's about putting yourself right in the character you're playing. If it comes, fine. If it doesn't come, I don't stress it. You understand? And um, like I tell people, once you want to get yourself play any character, forget the real you, forget yourself, get yourself 100% in that character you're playing. Once you're in it, if the mood calls for anything like yes, that, it comes come. naturally, so I don't force it. So which one is most pain? The TikToks or the That movies? is more pain. Mm. This is salary. TikTok is just for social media. For me, I mean, mm. I'm not saying I'm making money from TikTok, but oh, then it's okay. just for social media. Because many videos, we right? cannot overemphasize the importance of social media. Mm. You've been doing TikToks and Reels as well, I've been seeing yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and you know that would have actually helped in growing yeah. your, your stuff. So that's yes. what we do. You need to keep up with your, mm. with your fans, give yes. them what they like to see. I want to, I want to take you to this area. Um, we know that we see a lot of women in the industry. Okay. Carrying Range Rover, like Benz, G-Wagon. Um, there are stories of how 
Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, my fans. They bought, my fans bought me a brand new you car. Fans. And it seems to always happen more for the <coughs> women than, than for the, the men. You know, so can you tell us the truth about the cars why and the fans? Why are your fans sleeping? Why are you sure I, I don't have a rain outside? I don't have a rain outside. I don't have a rain outside. Well, I'm sure they're planning that for my next <laughs> birthday. <laughs> well, like the that. thing is, apart from the industry, women, you tend to get a soft spot mm -hmm. all the time, you understand? If it's your birthday, you get most gifts. Okay, let's um, take it to the home now. If it's your husband's bed, I don't know what kind of gift you buy him, but then if he's going to buy you anything, it's going to be bigger than what you buy Usually, for him. You right. understand? So I think that's a natural thing. We, you, you have a soft spot. Men appreciate women, even if there is no um, attachment or anything, you understand? They can just come. I know fans give me money sometimes. So I like the way you played that role. You know, there was a video I did one time because I do all this cover as well. There was one I did for Simi. Was, was it semi zone or I can't really remember. Mm. Somebody just sent me a message. Oh, that video you did actually took me out of depression. Then I did one recently again. Um, this guy is um, running to you that mm -hmm. I did. So I got a lot of messages, a lot of, um, you know, gifts and all that for that video. You understand? Wow. Let me, let me, let me. So just imagine if I was a babe. One guy would just say he wants to bugami. me. Just take this stuff just to show appreciation. But like my own guy just say, oh, nice one, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> on the back of Chopo's question, do you think that though that acting pays? Because you're, you're, you're married, you're raising hmm. a family, and you know, a lot of women feel that, listen, a lot of women that are married to actors, I think they are the one having to actually really run things because acting today goes up, tomorrow it comes down. Yes, There's not yeah. that consistency. So, how do, you, how do you hope that this industry will pay you, or do you have to do something on the side? Do you have to do a side also, like become Abakiari, besides selling clothes, <laughs> selling, oh, selling, guinea. selling guinea for... Oh my right. God. in a shady mood today. Well, everything still boils down to the kind of training you have. Are you content with what you have? Mm. Don't bite more than you can chew. Don't... Um, mm. uh, uh, this proverb, Sew your clothes according. Sew your clothes according to the clothes the you have. You understand. Cut your clothes according to your pockets now. Cut your clothes according to the. You understand. So that has always been keeping me. Not like I have all the money, but like I said, I'm not where I used to be. It's getting better. You understand. Mm. And another thing is, um, it entertainment is a very lucrative business, but it takes time. It's like a long-term investment. Mm -hmm. You understand. And um, brands who want to deal with you, companies want to deal with you if you're very relevant and prominent. So that is where all the the sacrifices, the sacrifices you've made over the years now yeah. begin to pay for yeah. you. You oh, understand? Nice. So. so now, how do you determine the scripts to pick? I mean, are you still at that point where whatever they throw at you, just do? No. Or are you getting to the point where, and what makes you pick which script, one script over the other? Oh, the value, the story. How is it going to add to my brand? Okay. You understand? Is it going to bring me up? Is it going to, or is it going to bring me down? Is it going to create a lot of controversies? You know, it depends on what you want for yourself at that particular point in time. Because there are moments as an actor you feel, oh, you need some things to actually shoot up your career and you just go for some scripts that you wouldn't go for sometimes. Yeah, right. you so get. what would you say is the brand that you want people to associate with you? What do you want people to see when they see you? Uh, I just want you to see a GDA Obano, an actor, a, a creative person. Expect anything creative from me. And um, I don't want to stereotype myself, but I'm just a creative person. No, I'm no. a disciplined person, you understand? But when it comes to my creativity, mm. expect anything. Not exactly stereotype, but do you feel um, curtailed by maybe other interests like family, you know, in your name, your pedigree? Would you do certain things and, or not do certain, take certain roles because, you know, these are interests that you need to protect? Not exactly what you cannot take. Maybe yeah, you can do, but you. how well, it affects I'm a others. Very fam I'm a family-oriented person. I don't joke with my family. I respect my family a lot. My parents, my siblings, my wife, my children. Every I respect everybody. Thank you, Jihar. Imagine I come up and I have plenty of children. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I don't want to. Uh, I do everything to it. But the first thing is they know me. So when they see me doing it, they know there's a reason behind it. Mm -hmm. so that's that's the number one thing you understand. So many actors move into directing, producing, having their own, all of that. Are you are you developing the skills to go into other areas of production? Well, I might eventually become a director because I have the I, I see myself being a director. I don't want to jump into it. I want to have I want to be um, I, I, I want to have the knowledge hundred yeah. percent. I want to command it. I want to be an authority. Yeah, yeah. that's the word. 
before venturing what? into it. But when it comes to um, learning on the job and yeah. stuff, I think I can still do. What are some what are some actors you like to work with? I mean, are there people in the industry you've looked up to or you're like, say, you know what, I would love to work with this guy? RMD. I knew it. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. How yeah. come? Everyone is in. RMD is one actor I grew up watching and he probably one of the... Um, I, I wouldn't call... No, one of the icons I look forward to and actually made me realize that I've got some inner talent in me as well, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Genevieve, she's a fantastic actor as well. Joe Castillo, but maybe when I want to make my big movies, you'll see all those people yeah. in them, yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. So which is, which about, is your most demanding uh, product, um, work right now? Because uh, I see that you're absent from Jennifer for a while. Uh, well, I've been busy with the um, Yoruba industry and all that because they, I don't know, they tend to like me, they tend to like the way I act, and because I'm different, I'm unique in my own way, so they tend to like a GDR bonus kind of act, and so <laughs> I decided to make myself available, so I've been doing more of Yoruba movies now. Understand, mm -hmm. but then I did one epic recently that people will be wild when they see it. Alabede is like my biggest so far. Oh, wow! Yeah, he's, he's, not like out yet? he's not out yet. I'm gonna premiere soon. Okay. You think being an actor, you need to be also a self promoter and be able to hail yourself a lot because I hear this from a lot of uh, I'm good, I'm versatile, I'm unique, ah. I'm this. My is, it, is, it is, a is it a requirement? I think that's where we you? are right now. If you okay. don't upload me, I'll upload myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are right now. Oh, so good. tell yourself, be proud of yourself. Yes, sir. Let it sink into your brain mm. because it takes the pressure away. You know, mm. sometimes you feel you're not doing enough, but when you sit back and look at what you've done yes, yes. and you're not getting the right remuneration, the right applause, the right, just give it to yourself. That keeps you going. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So in, what, what, I mean, aside from this new movie that is coming, is there any other thing you're working on so we can know the viewers can look out for or is just this movie for now? Uh, just this movie for now. When, are we, when, 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 when will it be premiered? Uh, before the year runs out. Oh. Um, I'll be premiering sometimes in October. Oh, oh fantastic. Yeah. Look forward. Have any comments on, on social media? Um, not yes. for so, <laughs> Yes, people are taking us back to the previous one. But I wanted to ask you something else because I realized that um, this, the industry, Mariah is always championing this course, particularly. I have to give her the credit for it that our, our movies depict our present, like what we're going through right now. Okay. And we should use movies to depict a desirable future. You okay. know, we use movies to depict, paint a, picture of paint a picture of what would want Nigeria to look like. Do you think we're on track with the quality of movies we're doing? Or do you also share that opinion that we shouldn't just be doing movies of corruption and fraud and bloodletting? We, we should do movies of ideal. What would an ideal Nigeria look like? Well, it's about um, <clears throat> what I want is different from what you want. We have different audiences with different tastes and what they want to see. So, and at the end of the day, don't forget this is business. I want to make money as well. I want to be yes. able to come back and make another film. Yeah, right. So definitely, okay, when you make serious films, go to the cinema. You want the, it's going to be scanty. But yeah. when you make the funny ones, blah, 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 blah <laughs> you will see they all will be filled to the brim, you understand? So yeah. as a filmmaker, it's, it's not very easy for us. We That's try to know what you really want so we can give it to you. So it's like a balancing like act to everything. Stress. You and understand, love, because the country story. is stressful already. There's a lot of mm. pressure, so, so we the, need to... Yeah. Yeah, so there's right. this question we ask mostly whenever people come on, which is, in what ways are you giving back mm -hmm. to your community, to younger people who are looking up to you? Well, I give back in so many ways. I might not be putting it out there. Right now, a lot of um, youth are serving right now. I know some of them that call me every day, send me money for this, send me money. So I've been doing that. Then aside that, um, we have a voice, so we try to, they call us motivational speakers, but we have to do because we discover a lot of people listen to us. So I might not have all the money in the world to give you, but then mm -hmm. I will always tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great impact. Yeah. You think you're a good husband? Yes, I am. What makes you a good husband? Uh -huh, I like I'm always there. Really? When they need me, yes. And I'm a very, yes. Yeah. Not, so you call your wife and ask. Let me not put my trumpet here. No, no, no. Let me not put my trumpet here. I just about your wife is on the phone now. Okay, let me tell you. So I'm a kind of, when I show you my schedules, I'm a kind of say schedule, when I show it to you, you will see on my schedule where I have one, two, three, Mariah's set, three, four, five, your view, channels, news, this, seven, eight, nine, stay at home. Oh. I'm like that. Oh. They know me for that. Some people got a GD with their for me stay at home. Yeah, Joe. And I can't give you real? Yes, I'm like so that. So, but when you stay at home, what do you do? We don't want just staying at home. <laughs> are you How are you involved in staying? Yeah, I you present. Now. You cook. Uh, 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 wow, like, 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 well. you I cook. Like, like, you cook. Which food? Which food? Which food? Which food? Which You said you are following me. Go and check my my page. You cook. You cook. You cook. Which food? I've not seen you cook. I'm following you. Go and check my reels. I cook. I can teach you how to make my my live where I know. Ah. 
Well, Nigerians, I, I would, I would say which we, is you we're talking about. Uh, yes, Nigerians. I'm romantic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what so. did you do for Valentine the last time? My, my, she went to work now. Hey. I, I was filming. Ah, uh, 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 romantic people. Yeah, I'm not a Valentine. Miss... I don't wait for Valentine. Okay, what okay. happened? What about? Okay. What, what was the last thing you did? I was like, I wowed her. I just got her a Nike sneakers. Yeah, very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. Okay, this morning. Yeah. Okay, right now um, she doesn't have a car at the moment. We sold because it was giving us a little, and I, I gave her my car to take to work. Oh. So how did she come to? Now you have one. She drove herself to work, and my, did you I, get my friend brought me here. Oh. oh. No, 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 that one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 it's going to wow you guys. Are you saying Yoruba or English? Do you want me to say Yoruba? Yeah. Say it. Alabede. Hey, hey. Alabede. Hey, hey. Alabede. 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 I'm telling you. Alabede. 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 When I, left, when I was in Nigeria, it was Ibadan. <laughs> I went to America, I came back to Nigeria. I said Ibadan. Everywhere is Ibadan. No, yeah, they thought you just came back. So they don't want to ask it. Everybody said Ibadan. Everybody says Abuja. It's Abuja. It's Abuja. Abuja. It's Abuja. It's Abuja. 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 I've heard people say Ikoi. No, it's Ikoi. That one has always been Ikoi. Even Magodo. Even when I was growing up, Ikoi was Ikoi. Magodo is Magodo. 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 Yeah, so we get it right. You know, let's pronounce these things right. <laughs> Any plans okay. for the weekend? You gotta go. Oh, Why are you taking wife to this weekend? He's going no, home. Stay at home. Yeah, oh, you do oh, uncles yeah. too. Yes, yes, say your market at your uncle. At the uncle event, so when are they coming? Oh, bro, she got shot. Bro, she got. Is it about that? I'm five seven. Hey, okay. Hey, All right, that's all we can take on the show. I hope you learnt a few things as we have. Our super cup, as a Nigerian, me, I believe in you. I don't know about them, I believe in you. I hope, by God's special grace and mercy, that mistake. FBI is wrong. Hmm. But if FBI is not wrong, Lord of Jesus. <laughs> we'll, 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 see we'll, right. we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you for having, having me. me. <laughs> <laughs>